the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. With this, I welcome you to the concluding part of the process of civil, civil rule in Nigeria. Our topic is uh, conducting elections and inauguration of elected leaders in Nigeria. Sit back and learn and enjoy the class. What is an election? What do we mean by election? An election can be defined as the process of choosing leaders by voting for certain people to fill specific position in a government or organization. So when we are talking about election, we meet without process of choosing leaders by voting for a certain people to fill specific position in a government or organization. That is what we mean by election. Every person that is old enough to vote may cast one by lot. That is one by lot, one vote. So if anyone that is old enough, they may cast one by lot. Who is a voter? A voter is a person who has the legal right to vote during an election. The people who vote in an election, they have what they call what? A voters or they can call them constituents. So a voter is a person who has the legal right to vote during an election. And he or she becomes an electorate after he or she has actually cast a vote. So after they are finished voting, then you cannot call that person as what? As an electorate. So a voter is the person who has the legal right to vote during an election. Then after he or she has cast the vote, then you can call them what? As what? As an electorate. The Electoral Commission in Nigeria in 1979 to 1983. Then it was called Federal Electoral Commission. That's what they call it, Federal Electoral Commission, headed by Mr. Um, Shiv Michael Haney. That is from 1979 to 1983. It was headed by uh, Shiv Michael Haney. And in, 19, uh, in 1983, in 1983, the Federal Electoral Commission in Nigeria was um, added, that is chaired by Justice Ovia Whiskey. The Electoral Commission in Nigeria in 1987 to 1994. It was called National Electoral Commission during that time. It was called National Electoral Commission. From 1987 to 1989, it was shared by Professor Emmy Awe. From 1989 to 1993, it was shared by Professor Umfro Uwonsu. And in 1993 to 1994, it was added by Professor Onkon Edet Uyo. So these are the, um, the people that held the Nigerian Electoral Commission, which is known as National Electoral Commission then from 1987 to 1994. National Electoral Commission, that is what it was called during, in 1994 to 1998. So the Nigeria Electoral Commission is called elect National Electoral Commission. So you can see the different um, electoral commission that we had in Nigeria. Now, it, during 1994 to 1998, it was added by Chief Summer Dangogo Jack. It was added by Chief Summer Dangogo Jack. Now, 
from 1998 to the present day till now national um, electoral commission in nigeria is known as independent national electoral commission which we know it as INEC. so till now it started from 1998 to date now now from 1998 to year 20, uh, 2000 it was headed by justin Ephraim Akban Apata. Then from 2000 to 2005, it was added by Sir Abe Gubadia. That was the one that was the chairman then. Then from 2005 to 2010, it was Professor Maurice Iwu that was the chairman then. Then from 2010 to 20, uh, 2015, from two, that is 2010 to 2015, don't get it wrong, from 2010 to 2015, it was added by Professor Ataru Jiga. Ataru Jiga. Now, from 2015 till date, as at present Nigeria now, it was added by Professor Mahmoud Iyaku. So, he is the um, chairman of INEC in Nigeria. And don't forget, INEC me independent national electoral commission so you can see how far nigeria started from 1960 till now with the uh, change of, of in electoral commission let's find out the functions of electoral commission the primary function of the electoral commission in a country is to organize free and fair election at the various political office in the country that is all the main primary function the main duty of electoral commission is to organize free and fair election at a various political office in a country other functions of electoral uh, electoral commission include registration of a prospective voters usually of people who are 18 years and older so that is the, the first or uh, other function that they register the names of a voter from age 18 and older then the second one is also the registration of political party that will present candidate for the election if they register parties uh, we discuss about political parties so is the electoral commission that registered them Thirdly, the division of the country into electoral constituencies and area. They are also um, the duties, the functions of electoral commission. They make sure that they divide the country into electoral constituencies and the area. The screening of candidates for election, they also screen the, those people that want to contest for an election. Also, providing water um providing voter education to the people so they they they, they uh, educate the people consigning on their voting uh, level what they ought to do other functions of the electoral commission include issuing a uh, voters card to the registered voters they do that they give out a voters card to register voter Appointment and training and posting of ele um, election officers, all those officials that you see, all those that work for them. So they are the ones that will recruit, they appoint and they train the electoral uh, election officer for that. Provision of election materials such as the ballot paper, ballot boxes and other voting items. They are the ones that supply that. Countings of votes. After election, that is also another function of uh, the electoral commission. They are the one that will count after the election. Announcement of election results, that is also part of the functions of electoral commission. And finally, presentation of certificate of return to the winners of the elections. So all these are the functions of electoral commission. Now, let's find out the inauguration of elected leaders. Now, what we mean by inauguration, that is uh, the final activities of an election. 
is the inauguration of the winners of the election into various uh, political parties. That is when they are going to um, um, officially hand over to them. Officially, the, uh, they, will, uh, they are going to make announcements of uh, those that they are elected as a leader. So that is what we are looking at, inauguration of elected leaders. And like I said, after election, the next thing is what? Is inauguration of the winner of the election into various uh, political uh, office. The Electoral Commission organized a swearing-in ceremony for the elected people. During the ceremony, the elected leaders are made uh, to swear an oath of office by a competent judicial office, uh, officer and are thereafter given the power and the authority to administrate the position. So you can see that. So once they, uh, after the election, they swing the, uh, the, elect, um, the elected leaders into office and they are also going to make an hold, which is done by the judicial official. And at the federal level, now I want you to take note of this. At the federal level in Nigeria, you know, we are talking about Nigeria. So at the federal level in Nigeria, it is the chief judge uh, justice of Nigeria that administrate the oath of office of the president and the vice president. So at the federal level in Nigeria, the chief justice of Nigeria is the one that administrates the oath of office. That is, is the one that are going to uh, sway him the president and um, vice president. But at the state level, chief judge of the state is the one that will perform the same function, same duty for the governor and the deputy governor. So you can see the difference. Federal level is the chief of justice of Nigeria that do that for the president and the um, vice president. Where at the state level, is the chief judge of the state that perform uh, that function. How to vote. Now it's time, um, I want you to listen um, very well. I'm sure you have been hearing people that are going to vote, and how do they do that? So we're going to find out, we're looking at the step on how to vote. We want to look at how to vote, um, in Nigeria, let me use that how to vote in Nigeria. Now, at the polling, um, at the polling units, so we are going to start. Let me take it one by one, step one, so that you get it. Step one at the polling unit, the first thing to do is to join the queue, and the INEC official will check if you are the correct polling unit and confirm that the PCB president belong to you. So at that one, the INEC official is going to, you are going to join the queue. That is the first step to do. Then they will not check if you have a correct um, voter's uh, card. That is uh, what we mean by PCV. Step two. Now let's look at step two. Step two, INEC official will confirm if your PVC is genuine using what a card reader, so you can see it from our image there. So, INEC official will confirm if your PCV is genuine using what a card reader. You will be asked to place your finger on the fingerprint reader. You can see it from our image there. That is step two. Three. An INEC official will ask for your PVC and confirm you are listed in the voters register. Your name will be tick off and your finger will be in ink to confirm you are voted. If your name is not listed, then you cannot vote. So in step three, all you need to do is that the, the INEC official will ask you uh, for your PVC, that is your voter's card, like I told you earlier, confirm your name on the list and then your finger will be leaked. You can see it from the image there. This is just to confirm that uh, you have voted. Step four, the presiding officer 
will endorse, stamp, and sign your bylaws paper. You will be given the bylaws paper roll with printed side inward and directed to the voting cubicle. That is where you are going to uh, cast your votes. Step five. Stain your finger with um, ink and mark the box for the candidate or party you want to vote for. Roll the paper in the manner you are giving and flattery it. As you can see from the image there, you put your ink on your hand and then you are going to paste it on the candidate that you want to vote for or any party that you want to vote for and then you roll the paper the way they are giving to you. Step 6. Leave the voting cubicle and drop the ballot paper into the ballot box. As soon as you have done with that, leave the cubicle, that is the box of, of, of uh, voting, then drop the ballot paper into the ballot box in full view of people or the pony unit. And the final step, which is the step seven, leave the polling unit in orderly and peaceful manner or wait if you choose to watch the process up to the declaration of results. So these are the various steps in voting in Nigeria. Wow, hope you learned a lot. Learning how to vote. Note that you must write down the seven step on how to vote in your notes. Remember, an election is the process of choosing leaders by voting for certain people to fill specific position in a government or organization. Every person that is old enough to vote may cast one vote. Electoral Commission is responsible for the conduct of election in a country. Till our next class, keep learning. Bye!